Hi everybody, Dusty Elmer here. I'm going to give you a little bit of an in-depth look at the new Deering White Lotus banjo today. So the White Lotus is a new banjo that Deering just put out. Um, constructed almost entirely of white oak. Um, it's kind of a rarity uh, among banjos. And there's no tone ring. Um, it has a midnight maple fingerboard. Some nice binding on the sides. Very light. Um, it's only a little bit heavier than an open back, which was one of the first things I noticed when I took it out of the case, was how light it was. And the second thing I noticed once I had it tuned up was how uh, responsive and uh, what a nice crack it has. Um, I mostly play claw hammer and old time two finger styles. Um, I play a little bit of three finger too, so I'll do some of that. But um, I'm just going to play, I don't know, I'll play uh, just a tune. And uh, you see how it sounds the claw hammer style. banjo it uh i think this would be a very good banjo if you played a few different styles and uh you wanted a banjo to kind of cover everything um i know i play a lot of claw hammer but my main uh my go-to banjo is a deering deluxe which you know stereotypically would be a classic bluegrass uh banjo you know kind of a copy of a master tone um but uh sometimes that can be a little heavy-handed for claw hammer um because of the heavy hand that you kind of have when you play claw hammer it, it can be it can be kind of a brash sound and this is a little more uh, a little more mellow and um you know but but it also has the bite where you know if you take your finger picks and you uh pick close to the bridge now, i'm not a very good three finger banjo player um but let's see if i can play something for you that might might uh give a little idea of how it sounds. excels at two finger style. take a look at the components. There's our pot with the eagle style 
flange, which is very cool because if you uh, notice there are bracket hooks and shoes, and I will show you more in a minute what that means, but uh, this is kind of a close up look at the pot. It's all white oak. Also comes with the new Deering Smile Bridge. I asked for an 11 16 because it's a little bit taller and a little easier to, to play claw hammer on. So inlays, beautiful. I believe the production models may say white lotus instead of white oak, I'm not sure. This is a prototype and it's serial number two, which is pretty cool. Um, it's got classic Deering uh, quality and components in the build. Uh, you can really see that Midnight Maple uh, overlay and all that stuff. I'll flip it over here. There's my tuner. See serial number two. the binding around the resonator very beautiful now I'm gonna open it up and we take a look inside okay pop her open inside of the resonator this is a prototype this is the inside of the pot layer down here okay so these are the screws for the brackets and basically how this works, um, let's say you bought this banjo and you decided down the line that you wanted an open back. Well, with the correct wrench, you just pop, I should say, unscrew these, not pop them off, but undo these. And uh, you can pull your flange right off and you will have an open back banjo, which I think is pretty cool. Um, you can see there's no tone ring. It's just a little bit of a beveled edge in there. Um, you have one coordinator rod. The fit and finish is just, I was saying, it's classic deering quality. Um, all around a beautiful banjo. So there it is, the new deering white lotus. Um, I have to say, I really like playing this banjo. Um, feels very nice. It's it would be an exceptional banjo if you were looking for something to kind of save your back a little bit of pain. Um, I know. That when I play with the band and we play like a four hour set, by the end of it, my back is just toast. Um, and I don't feel like it would be with with the banjo of this weight. Um, it has ample volume, great tone. Um, I'm really excited to see um, if I get to keep it long enough, hopefully, um, to see what it sounds like after it's been played for a while. Um, it's still a brand new banjo. Um, so I think once it opens up, it'll be even more impressive. I'm already pretty impressed with it. Um, but yeah, um, it's kind of a Swiss Army knife of banjos, I feel. Uh, it kind of covers all your bases pretty well. Um, it would be a great banjo if you played old time styles and you just wanted to project a little more. Um, I also find it a little more comfortable to play setting on my lap with a resonator instead of having the, uh, the bracket shoes and hooks sticking into my leg. Um, so that's another reason why I kind of like it. Um, but yeah, I can't recommend it highly enough. It's a beautiful banjo, and I hope you get a chance to try one at a Deering dealer and uh, see for yourself. They have a few other models. They have some open back and long neck models as well um, in the Vega line. Um, so, yeah, definitely give them a shot. I'm going to play you one more tune, and uh, see you later.